There are the people protesting. That's my window. And they stopped whistling at my request, except now I'm awake. I'm getting a little grumpy, folks. This is not fun for anyone. I'm going to cheer up by continuing on this quest to Mr. Holmes Bakehouse. At 9 a.m. they bring out the croffins. They are mixes of muffins and croissants. I had to think there. Did you, did you see it? They only make 180 on the weekends. 150 on weekdays, 180 on the weekends. And there's a whole queue of people just waiting to get their hands on the croffin. It's amazing you look that way, it's sunny. And over there, it's fog and it's cloudy. If it doesn't get hot enough, people on that side, Sunset Richmond, don't see the sun all day. People on this side never see the clouds. And that's a two mile drive. I'm feeling lucky, no line. I always feel slightly ashamed when I leave this place because I got like bag like this. But you know, gotta be prepared. My buddies are coming over later. My college buddies that I went to school with. And you know, I wanted to make sure I have a few for them as well. So Sir Edmund Hillary definitely deserves respect climbing the Mount Everest first. But did he ever have a coffin at Mr. Holmes Bakehouse? A donut filled with chocolate and then walk up this hill. I think not. It's heart attack material right there. Now I'm in Chinatown. I just walked down the hill from Russian Hill. And then you get into Chinatown, it's just like a 10 minute walk. And right around the corner is North Beach, the Italian neighborhood. So great about San Francisco, all these neighborhoods close by that are so different. Russian Hill is kind of posh, expensive, not a lot of life. Chinatown is so vibrant, so many great places, especially for dim sum. I'm getting hungry already and I have a backpack full of pastries. Choices, choices. Right, where are we going? Where are I we have going? no idea. <laughs> Muse. Uh, uh, how you say Muse? I don't know. <laughs> I can't. Muse, you take it. Muse mechanic. Yo, what is it? Muse oh, mechanic. <laughs> oh, it's a race. The video you put in a corner and they tell you your future. <laughs> really? Yes. You guys lured me with lap dancing, and this is this is what happens. And this is what we get. This is what we get. Muse yeah. mechanic. Everybody's going this way, but you got three leaders, thought leaders, going that way. It's the think tank. <laughs> so we're gonna spend the rest of our Saturday doing the same thing we did when we were in college here. Play stupid arcade games until we go eat and drink. Just before heading to the airport, I'm meeting friends and their kids for brunch. So that should be fun. So, um, first for today, we're in San Francisco, California. We're gonna, it's 80 degrees. How much did you got on me? Well, that would take two inches. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. But he's 14. Four days in this craziness. I feel sorry for those people. They mean well. 
it may not be the best way to protest. Waking up the guests at 6 a.m. doesn't win the sympathy vote. Just walked to these electric cars that you can rent here by the minute. They're about 31 cents per minute and it's much cheaper than a taxi when you only have carry-on luggage like I do. So I'm looking forward to going to Amsterdam, see Miro, my mom, Baloo. I spent two days in Holland, a day and a half. I did nothing but sleep, walk Baloo, see my parents, see her parents, nephew, walk Baloo, I said already, <laughs> and then we flew here. They were boarding this plane in Athens, we had a stopover in Athens, and they really said very strictly zone 3 first, only row 15 to 25, nobody else. Now we looked what we were getting into, we actually had to get on a bus. So the next thing they said was, anybody now, all the other rows, please board all the rows to 15, and then we all got on the same bus. <laughs> of course when the bus stopped near the plane it was just a mad scramble like the last chopper out of Saigon. These kind of things just cracked me up. I love how they're trying to get organized, but then in the end they're like, ah, we don't really care, whatever, get on the bus, get on the plane. I'm gonna spend some days here, take some pictures. Today is our first uh, full day on Mykonos, and we started with a monster's breakfast. But I also got to make phone calls and do the usual stuff. Actually spend my time reading a lot and then calling people who try to explain to me what I've just read. Live from the CNN Weather Center, it's Drone Back Thursday. Why is this called Drone Back Thursday? Because I was gonna shoot some beautiful drone footage here, but it's windy, it's like a gale storm, hurricane, whatever. Except I'm in a t-shirt and it's still 23 degrees. So what we're gonna do is instead of flying the drone here and seeing it fly off towards Africa, I'm gonna post some footage from exactly a year ago, the old drone, in a segment called Drone Back Thursday. where we're going but this looks good I like it okay we're officially lost oh Miro found a spot for photographs tomorrow how are you going to find this pen? place a marker I don't know how no it just know. sounds good I'll send you a pin through what's a your generation is so technical I learned from your mom <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this is a cave pool suite. We only have it for a few hours before guests check in. We have a very nice room, or actually very nice suite. But this thing, it's got this. It's called a cave pool. And you know, that's a good name because that's what it is. It's really a cave that they carved out this hotel room in. Thank you, ma'am. It's a pleasure serving you. We only have an hour. We had to do it quick. And then we try to clean the room also afterwards. Clean, you know. Take away all the, the stuff that we left. In this case, wet spots. <whistles> Meryl's still trying to figure out how the door works. Not like that. Thank you. I'm a cosmopolitan. I can say thank you in Greek. This was a fun week and we got another fun week to look ahead to. We're staying another few days on Mykonos, on this island, and then going on to Santorini. Mm -hmm. 